not like that. Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinker Tools. Today we're gonna to be talking about three of the more powerful drills on the market. We're gonna compare them. We're gonna see which one comes out on top on Tinker with Tools. So about a month ago, I introduced this new Hilti drill to my channel. This is the Hilti SF10W22. It was announced last fall at their event in their corporate headquarters in Liechtenstein. And as soon as it became available, I ordered it and tried it. Now, first impressions right out of the box were just how big it is. I've done a couple of shorts showing just how big it is compared to other what I would consider big drills on the market today. It's an interesting tool for sure because unlike a lot of big drills, this is actually not a hammer drill, it is just a drill driver. It does have some unique features like a four speed gearbox. That's not something you get on every drill, but it's also not necessarily a standalone feature that no other drill in the marketplace has. It does have some decent power. Now we did have to go ahead and get the eight amp hour Hilti Neuron battery to really unlock that power. On the four amp hour, it had some inconsistent results to say the least. So today I wanted to actually compare it to two other drills and one that is previously claimed to be the world's strongest drill to see where these stack up and how they compare to each other. Now, as I mentioned, one of the other ones that we're gonna be talking about today is this. This is gonna be the Bosch GSV 18V 1330C. And this is what was dubbed as the world's strongest drill by Bosch in their marketing when it was released. And basically the figure that they quoted is that had the highest soft torque figure, which was gonna be commonly for drilling in wood applications. And it was roughly 750 some odd inch pounds of torque. Now when Hilti came out touting over 800 inch pounds of torque in its soft torque application compared to the 700, that was kind of what was the direct comparison that a lot of you felt. But another one kind of was something that a lot of people wanted to see in the comments down below, and that was the Makita XGT. Now, I have previously made a video over a year ago at this point where I said that this was the best drill that I had ever tested, and it is a very impressive drill, but it's definitely a different style of operation than these other drills, where these drills are big and heavier and a little bit bulkier and are touting high torque figures, this one has a little bit higher speed than what you're finding on either one of these drills and a very unique clutch. In terms of the size comparison with these tools, it is a very different drill. It's not nearly as large as these other two monsters. So now with these tools tonight, we're gonna to be putting them through a series of driving tests and then also some drilling tests. And we're gonna be pushing them and the goal is to see where does one shine, where does another one shine, because I think they each have their strong suits, but it's going to be interesting to see how they compare. So first let's go ahead and get some specs out of the way and then we'll go ahead and show the testing. Okay. 
It did not like that. So when I finished that testing, I came out of there with my opinion set on which way the results were going to go with those tools. I decided, however, to go and check the recording, and I'm honestly a little bit shocked how it turned out. Now, the winner of the time test is definitely going to be the Hilti. It posted a time significantly faster overall than any of those, but it was not without its issues in that it did cut out at times when I felt like it should power through task. It struggled on the inch and a quarter or the inch and a half spider bit when, you know, these other drills really just kind of went through it and didn't have an issue with it. The ability to have more speeds or gears definitely played benefit in some of those tests where it was able to kick down to speed three and still power through one or two of those tests in pretty fast fashion compared to going all the way down to speed one like on these other drills. I think if you put this up against something like the DeWalt DCD 999, where it has that three speed gearbox, you might see kind of similar style of performance when it came to certain tasks there. It's really just about making sure it's in the right speed for the task. When we got up to that biggest bit, it clearly was able to do it in speed three, and that's really where it kind of started to separate itself. Now, when it comes to the Bosch, the Bosch posted the slowest time, but at the end of the day, this is the only one that was able to do the two and nine sixteenths in speed two, and it also did the eight inch power lag in speed two, even though it did smoke a little bit after. That was halfway through the testing. It did the rest of the testing just fine. I really was hoping for more straight performance out of this tool, but when I finished the testing, it honestly felt like this was the good middle ground between the Makita and that. It wasn't until I saw the times that I actually got a little bit disappointed in how it performed. I still think it is an incredibly strong drill, and even though it is heavier than the Makita, it has a really good balance. It has some decent power and it can do stuff. It's just not going to be doing it as fast as some of the other top flight drills that are out there. 
the Makita definitely has its place and has areas where it really excels. And so I think that this is a great drill and one of my favorites still, when you start to get to the really intense or really torque intense task, if you will, that's when you start to maybe think, mm, maybe this isn't the tool for the job. But everything up to that point, it's probably going to do it faster than just about any drill out on the market. At the end of the testing, my opinion of the Hilti has changed a little bit in that if you're just talking about its power and performance and ability to do really demanding tasks, potentially faster than other tools on the market, I think Hilti has delivered on that. It was able to go through that very big auger test at the end and do it in speed three, and it did it four and a half seconds faster than the Makita and about seven seconds faster than the Bosch. The Bosch felt strong doing it, but this one was able to feel strong and still achieve some speed, but it's not without its trade-offs. This is a giant drill. It makes the Bosch feel almost smaller and compact in comparison. No one is buying this tool, in my opinion, to be their primary drill that they're gonna be using for every task. This is the purpose-built tool that is going to be used for very specific tasks when you need that size and power. Obviously, Hilti has other strong suits. Their warranty and their service program are top notch and are going to really be there for you for a long time to come compared to maybe the warranty of some of these other tools that is going to be around for a few years. I think both of these drills are well made and if taken care of are gonna last a long time too. But knowing that in 20 years, I'm still going to be getting service on this tool is something that it makes it seem a little more reasonable to be spending a high price on it. But it's just not going to be that everyday drill that you buy, you're buying this for that purpose-built task if you will so if you have any questions about any of the three drills if there's any questions about the testing we did go ahead and leave in the comments down below let me know what you think about this drill it's one that my opinion of it keeps evolving the more i use it if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button if you haven't already please consider subscribing and as always i appreciate the support and until next time i'll catch you on tinker with tools